Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm gonna talk about time series decomposition to explore various patterns uh, in a time series, which is a very useful exercise to understand the various patterns in a time series, which improves our understanding of a series and it can also help us to improve a forecast accuracy. In particular, in this chapter, I'm going to talk about uh, three components of a time series and uh, the ways to extract uh, those components individually. First, we will extract uh, the trend cycle component, then the seasonal component and whatever is uh, left over will be called the remainder component. And uh, we can use two types of models to extract uh, these three components from any time series. Uh, the first is called an additive model in which uh, all these components uh, entered additively in a model and the second uh, model is called a multiplicative model in which uh, these three components in a time series y t enter in a multiplicative form the first major concept that i'm going to talk about in this chapter is called uh, the moving averages in which we try to extract uh, the trend cycle component by using uh, moving averages and after that, I'll talk about various decomposition methods, starting with the classical decomposition, and then we'll talk about X11 seeds and STL decomposition methods. And we'll see that the various methods, they are suitable in different situations. And some of these methods are preferable over the other methods. At the end of uh, the chapter, I'll talk about how to forecast with the decomposition. Although decomposition is primarily used to understand uh, various patterns in a time series, but we'll see it may be used to forecast any time series. So this is pretty much that we're going to do in this chapter. We're going to talk about uh, three components of a time series, and then we're going to extract those three components uh, using various methods. And at the end, we're going to use a decomposition to forecast any time series.